Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but... It just hasn't felt this... this shitty in a while. He was a great guy. Putain, je sais qu'on a perdu Luc. Ou Nick. <laughs> je sais plus. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. We'll be okay. Trust me. If you say so. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Really? Now? Look, Clem, I know we're all hurting. But I need your help here, okay? I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Elle a quand même gardé sa casquette, hein. <laughs> Clem. she have to say I know she was running her mouth what did she say you shouldn't have done that to Arvo I know I know Clem but but Luke... I don't care you can't do that Jesus Clem you know me you know I'm not like that you scared me you scared all of us Kenny it won't happen again that's a promise It's over, but AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on, let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch, but he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. A little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Non, mais pour aller où? Wellington's got to be out there. All those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've <laughs> never been there. I went once, long time ago, just before I met Kat. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it!
Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Putain, mais les gens ils restent tous dehors alors qu'ils doivent faire un froid de canard. Wish they'd finished this place. Want one? No, thanks. Do you remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? Check her for weapons. I liked you from the start. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? Go on. I try not to have any regrets. Yeah? I wish I could manage that. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I don't really know what I want. Maybe I ought to start thinking about it. You know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. And listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. Allez, on va voir à l'intérieur. Quand si ça veut monter. Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! Seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something.
Seems like you've done that before. You want to try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. <laughs> hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> <laughs> it puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. Yeah, I'm too big. <laughs> Works? what I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Let's just get out of the snow. I'm all for that. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go, and we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got to help an AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Oh là là, ils font chier ce groupe. Jamais être tranquille. a working truck and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. 
He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. I ought to slap you. You know what he sacrificed for you? What I did? That means something, damn it! <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And to keep my hair short. <laughs> <laughs> We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me, and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep, so we gotta be ready.